A few weeks ago on our program, we showed you how to make several terracotta objects for the garden. We had several of our ambassadors here showing you how to make little terracotta people. We talked about making Cassius here, our large terracotta pot man. We've got the little terracolly dog down here. And we've even got some little wind chimes made out of terracotta pots. Well, today on the program, Laura Payne, our studio garden manager, is going to show us how to make an interesting tabletop fountain using terracotta pots. So let's go check it out. Hey, Laura, how's it going? Hey, Steve, going great. All right, so this is what you're going to show us how to put together. Yes, this is a three-tier terracotta tabletop fountain. Okay, was it uh, very hard to put together? Actually, not very hard, just a little time consuming. Okay. Um, you could build this in an afternoon, and uh, that's about how long it took me to build it anyways. Okay, well it looks uh, really nice set up there. Uh, so what all are the materials and tools that we need to put one of these together? Um, well, for the base of it, you're going to need at least a 16 to 18 inch terracotta saucer. Okay. Uh, for the first tier, I used a six and a quarter inch standard terracotta pot. Uh, an 8 inch terracotta saucer and a 4 inch terracotta saucer. Okay. Uh, this is going to be the one that's going to house your pump. Okay, so the pump is going to go underneath that. Right. All right. This, this little uh, uh, saucer here on top, what, what exactly will that be for? Well, that's going to cover up our hole. We're going to drill a hole through the center of this saucer here. Okay. And then our pump, our tubing will come up through this hole, mm -hmm. attach the pump inside there, and then it'll go through the hole that we make in this saucer, and we'll place that back on top of there. The water will come up through there, and then this will cover that up. Okay, so the water will just run out under this little saucer. Right. Okay, so from there, what do we need? Okay, second tier, I used a six and a quarter inch azalea pot with a six inch terracotta saucer. Okay, something a little shorter. Shorter. A little smaller. Uh, for the last tier, I used a four and a half inch uh, terracotta pot with a four and a half inch saucer. Okay, and from there the water just spills back into the basin. That's right. Okay, and the other tools that you need? Um, we need this clear acrylic sealer. Okay. To, uh, we're going to apply about three coats to this base saucer here. Okay, and that will uh, keep the water from, from soaking through and making a water spot on your coffee table or something like that? Right. Okay. And um, we're going to use some marine grade sealant or adhesive uh, just in case the hole in our uh, saucer here or our pot is is too big for our flex tubing that we're going to use. This is what we're going to use to connect the pump and then go up through the, the pot and the saucer. Okay. We have uh, our pump here. You have to have at least a 60 gallon per hour flow pump. We've got a 70 here. That'll be just fine. All right. A drill. Uh, already talked about the flex tubing. A 3 8 inch uh, masonry bit. Okay. Uh, we got right here. Yeah. All righty. Uh, conical rasp bit. All right. And what, what will that be used for? That'll be used if you need to enlarge the hole here. And also I found it was uh, a lot faster to drill these grooves or make these grooves in these saucers that we're going to make later on. Okay. Um, you need a rat tail file, a pencil, and a ruler, and a drill. All right. So probably the most expensive item that we have here would be the pump, is that correct? Right. Run okay. you about $20. About $20. Okay. So not a, not a huge investment to uh, put one of these together. No. All right. So uh, I guess the first step would be to uh, spray the basin and then start uh, working on the, uh, the holes. Right. Okay. And um, it works out a lot easier if you soak this saucer for about an hour in warm water before you drill the hole. It just seems to make it work a lot easier. Makes the clay a little softer, I guess, and a little less chance that it'll, it'll shatter or uh, yeah. split on Chip. you. Okay. Yep. And so we have one here. And I've already marked this hole on this one. Okay. And that's what the ruler and the pencil is for. You want to just kind of find the center, you know, with your ruler. Mark it with your pencil. So does it have to be exactly in the center? Not exactly, because that's going to be sitting on top of this, and then your your other little saucer is going to cover up. Okay, but you want it you want it fairly close. Right. Okay. 
Okay, so you're just gonna drill into that with that masonry bit. Right. After you've drilled through with your mason bit, then you want to take your conical rasp bit and you want to enlarge the hole in order to put your tubing through there. You want to check it periodically because you don't want the hole too big or you'll have to use more of your sealant around the tubing. Okay, Steve, now that we've got our tubing to fit through our saucer, right. now we're going to take our large pot and we're going to slip this tubing through the hole in our pot. We got lucky on this one and the hole was big enough that we didn't have to use our conical rasp to enlarge it. So just gonna slip that tubing in and fit it like that. Okay. And then this tubing here, we'll uh, connect that to our pump. Okay, so to uh, make that really snug, uh, you'll just use some of this uh, sealant to put around there to keep right. any water from running back through. Right. Okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna do so we're going to take our pot and we're going to notch out about four, four spots evenly spaced here. Okay. And what that'll do is allow us, when we set this down over our pump, uh -huh. we can run our cord through one of the notches. And then it'll also allow water to seep under here for the pump in order to suck the water up and expel it out the top of the saucer. Okay. Yeah, I can see how if you, you didn't have a, a notch on there, it would be hard to get that to uh, set level and that would mess up the water level up on top. Right. Okay, so, so how, do you, how do you cut those notches? Well, what I found was easiest to do is to start with our rat tail file okay. and then we'll finish up with our, our conical rasp. So you just kind of find a spot where you want to start. And these notches here that we're going to make, there's no specific angle that you'll have to have on these. Okay. I'll show you later as we do the saucers, the angle that we're going to need on those. Right. So once we get this groove started here, then we can use our conical rasp. And uh, the reason being is this thing will, will crawl on you. Okay. So, the, the notch helps hold it in place. Right. Gives, you, gives you a place to start. Right. Okay. Okay, Steve, now we have our three grooves for our water flow and our one deeper groove for our cord. All right. So now we're going to put this back together here. And if you wanted to, uh, if you need to apply your sealant, now would be the time. Go ahead and seal inside the bottom here and seal around the top. Okay, so we don't get any water leaking back through there. Right. Okay. Okay, so this tubing here is going to fit down over the pump over the pump if you have trouble getting that to fit over that if you'll soak this tubing in hot water for about two to three minutes that'll soften it up enough that it makes it pliable okay real easy to work with all right okay so now we're gonna just set this down over here get that adjusted just so okay and yeah it does fit i uh, got plenty of room for that cord the pot sits firmly flat on the bottom and uh, should have a nice level reservoir up here right. and may need to cut that off just a little bit right um, probably about leave about half an inch okay above that and what you're going to do is set your saucer down over the top of that then and All that right. also helps to regulate the water flow coming up out of here okay and you may also need to adjust the water flow rate on your pump inside uh, once you plug it in and everything you'll know what you really need to do but if your water flow is is too much, then you're going to have too much overflow going from okay. tier to tier. All right. All right. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to make our grooves in our saucers. Okay. In order for that water to flow. Okay, and we'll do this pretty much the same way that we cut the little notches in a, in the bottom of our uh, our our tall pot. Right. But there's a a, a little bit of a trick to uh, cutting these grooves, right? Right. These grooves we want to make at an angle. We're going to angle our file down towards the center of our saucer okay. as we file. That way we get the inner lip to be lower than the outer lip. Okay. That's what's going to allow you to have a nice water flow 
through this saucer like we have in this one here. All right, so if the, uh, the outer edge was lower, you'd probably have more of a dribbling problem. It would probably just, yeah, flow just right over the saucer. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make these notches in all three of our saucers here and plug it in, fill it up with water, plug it in, add some uh, river rocks for decoration. Okay. A plant. And we're pretty much ready to go. Yeah. And Anything else to think about? Well, when you uh, plug it in, anytime you're using water around electricity, it's a good idea to use a GFI. Okay. The ground fault circuit interrupter. Okay, that's a really nice one, looks like there, with the uh, extension cord attachment, so uh, no uh, major construction uh, for an outlet, just uh, plug it in to, uh, between two uh, cords there and you got it. That's right. Okay. Well, Laura, this, this, this plant here in the top, it looks like it would constantly be getting overwatered sitting, uh, sitting in the water there. What's the, what's the trick with that? Uh, put a pot in a pot without a hole in it. Okay. So this bottom pot does not have a hole in it. And okay. then we set this pot in, in there. All right. Well, Laura, I think uh, you did a wonderful job here. It looks outstanding. Thanks. Excellent little terracotta tabletop fountain. Really enjoyed it.